Christmas toys. Got another HLJ box here to open for you guys, so let's go ahead and get to it. Um, once again, I got stuck by another Japanese holiday, so this took about two to three days longer than it usually does, which is kind of a bummer, but it's finally here. I'm very excited, so let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, so first up we have packaging, 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 so much packaging. All right, I think that's it for the packaging. So first up we have an Ultraman vinyl doll. This guy's name is Guru Joe King. Pretty cool. He's got like a giant canner on his back, which is kind of neat. He's got some tail articulation. So very cool. Put him over here. All right, we have the DX Lupin Magnum. Very cool. I like the look of this. I think this is going to be fun. I know it's kind of a basic robot that it turns into and has like a giant trigger uh, and handle of the gun just hanging off its butt. But I think it's going to be fun. So we'll definitely check that out. Next up, we have the DX G-Con Zax, which is the main weapon of Kamen Rider Gates, featured prominently here on the box. So this is an axe slash bow, which looks kind of fun. I think it looks neat. I really like the G-Con Grade, so hopefully this is just as fun. So we'll be checking out that as well. Next up here, we have the DX Rube Crystal Set 05. I apologize for all the glare. Um, but yeah, this looks like it has Ginga Victory. So that's cool, the Ginga Victory Fusion. And then it has um, Saga. The, it has the monster we just saw the vinyl doll for, and it has Belial. So, pretty cool little pack. I'm excited to check out this one. I think it looks pretty good. Next up, we have... Oh, here we go. We got the DX Fize phone. Should be fun. Unfortunately, I did not get the Fize watch. Uh, I missed the pre-order Thursday night into Friday, and then when I woke up Friday, it was in stock, so I bought it. Um, but I guess they didn't get enough, so it wasn't they didn't have enough to fulfill all their in-stock orders. So I'm hoping by the next time I ship, which will probably be like the end of the month, um, they'll get one in. Because they still have my order, it's just I'm waiting for like a next wave to come in. And they usually get more in um, within a couple weeks or so, so I'm hoping by the end of the month, I will get the Fize Ride Watch. Here is the DX Ride Striker, which is the bike that turns into a watch. And then this is for the uh, Rider Kick figures. So I was very excited to pick this up. I think this looks like a lot of fun. Reminds me very much of the bikes that used to turn into lock seeds for Gaim. So I think that's very, very cool. And then let's see. We have some, speaking of Rider Kicks figures, we have the x -Aid Armor. We have the Borze armor, and we have the Ghost armor. So, got a couple of good armors here for the Rider Kicks figures. Really liking this line so far. Really excited to keep this going. I've really been having fun with these, and I'm loving the Legend Riders as well, all in the same scale. I love to get a nice collection of all of these because they're fairly affordable. The armors are only like $14, $15 a piece before shipping. So excited to grab these. Definitely be reviewing those sometime soon. And then the last thing in this box is fairly large, but I'm actually really excited for this. It is my boy, Dr. Yellow. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but if I had to guess, I think this is probably going to be the last release in the Shinkali Online. But, I mean, Drivehead went on forever, even after the series was over, so what do I know? But, 
This guy is massive. This reminds me of the giant carrier robot from Drivehead. Probably around the same size if I had to guess. But yeah, this guy is pretty awesome. So I'm super excited. He has his own robot mode, which is pretty big. And then he can combine with uh, one of the other trains. Most They obviously have the E5, but I think it should be able to combine with any of them. Not 100% sure, though. But we'll find out because I will check this out in the review. Very excited to get to Dr. Yellow. He looks very fun. So we will take a look at that. But yeah, that's going to be it for this box. Not a huge box. Um, but I had... I was going to kind of wait until the end of the month to ship again. But it was already a decent amount of stuff. And I knew I had the Zax and the Lupin Magnum and Dr. Yellow, which were all pretty large items. And... This week is the uh, like Christmas tree holder thing. <laughs> Everyone's calling it a Christmas tree. It does kind of look like one when you put a bunch of them together. Uh, that comes with the Deno watch. Then there's like additional pieces for that. So I'll, I'll probably get at least one extra additional piece. Uh, obviously, I'm going to get the one with the Deno watch. I'll probably also get at least one extra if I can. We'll see how the ordering goes. I feel like that's something I could probably get later on down the line. Not too not too difficult. We'll see. Um, but I'd honestly be happy with just one of each. Uh, Hibiki and Kabuto Watch. All that comes out this Friday. Then next week there's some Rider Kick figures. I think Cross Z and maybe Grease, I want to say. Um, what else comes out this month? There's a, I think the week after that there's a Kiva and Hibiki I want to say no Hibiki comes out this Friday Agito Kiva and Agito I think come out the following Friday so there's a decent amount of stuff still in October um there's gonna be a lot of stuff in November as well we have the time machine Tide Magines <laughs> if you listen to the streets uh RR the streets definitely check them out Fridays at 10 p.m eastern 7 p.m central no don't listen to that 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. East West Coast. I don't know time zones. Full disclosure, I don't know how time zones work. Um, but no, it's uh, Pacific. That's the name of the time zone. 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. The Streets, definitely check it out. You can follow them on Twitter as well. I think it's just RRR The Streets. At RRR The Streets. Anyway, I'm getting off topic here. But uh, the Time Machine with the O's Watch comes out next month. The O's Armor comes out. The Taco Roid Watch. I think that's what they're calling it. Um, that's all next month. I think the Gaim Watch, the Double Watch, all come out next month. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Geo is not stopping, and I'm okay with it. I'm having a fun time. Uh, really enjoying the Rider Kicks figure line with the Armors and the Legend Riders. Loving the Ride Watch gimmick. Uh, literally just everything from Geo so far has been super fun. Uh, Sentai is probably starting to wind down just because we just got the new trademark. That's really awesome. Um, and I'm going to completely butcher this because I only half remember. Anyway, it's called, I think it's called Ryu Soldier. I don't remember the, it's Ki, Kishiro Sentai Ryu Soldier, I think, something like that. Anyway, it's like knights and dragons, so that's going to be awesome. So I'm super on board for that. Really miss Mystic Knights, Tirna Nog. <laughs> that's the first thing that came to my mind when I heard about this, so very excited. Um, but yeah, so that sounds really cool, so that means the current one. It's I feel like Lupin Ranger went so fast. I can't believe how fast it went. I feel like it just came out not that long ago, and we're already 35 episodes in. Uh, but it's been fun. I've been enjoying the line. It's kind of nice to not have so much to buy for Sentai because Rider is just constantly hitting you. So you're just getting a couple cool mecha, uh, which also work with the changer. So it's the gimmick and the robots at the same time, which is nice. Uh, we'll see what Ryu Soldier does. I really have no idea. If I had to speculate, though, I would say probably a sword changer. That's my guess. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so really Sentai is probably going to have a couple more mecha. And then that's going to be winding down. Uh, Ultraman's already about halfway over, which is crazy. 
So there's a couple more releases for that. Also this month they have uh, that like tambourine looking melee weapon, uh, which I believe they're going to use because uh, Rosso and Blue are going to fuse together. So that's going to be a new form. And what else comes out? I don't know. Mushinin stuff's kind of slowed down. I have one more thing to review for that, which I'll probably do in the next week or so. Uh, but other than that, I don't see anything else pre-orderable, if that makes sense. Nothing else announced. They're doing a new box set of, I think, the sneaker base and the treehouse port together in one box. So it's like a reissue. Which is nice if you missed out on either of those, because they're great releases. But nothing new. Um... Like I said, Chincalion, I think, is getting ready to wind up because that's wind down, wrap up, fuse those two phrases together. <laughs> um, because I think that's getting towards the end. We're at about episode 37 or so, and I know Drive had ended at 36 or 37, so that's probably, it'll probably go a couple of episodes longer, but I would say maybe 45 tops is my guess. Um, yeah, so stuff's starting to wind down on the Japanese toy side, but Transformer-wise, here in the States, Siege is getting ready to come out. Super excited for that. They all look great. Um, at New York Comic Con last weekend, we just got all the Decepticons. They showed all the Autobots at SDCC, showed all the Decepticons at NYCC. It was awesome. Um, all those toys look super fun. They're probably going to, if I had to guess, probably November, right before Christmas, like, they'll start popping up. Um, new Power Ranger toys probably won't be till the spring because we're waiting on Beast Morphers. I would say Ninja Steel stuff is just done. You're not going to get anything else out of Bandai. Um, uh, yeah. I did pre-order a bunch of legacy figures from Bandai, like uh, Dino Thunder Yellow, Dino Thunder White, Psycho Red, Blue, Black. I think it was just those five at GameStop. We'll see if those happen. Um, yeah, Bumblebee movie stuff still kind of, we just got the first wave of that. Wave 2 should be coming soon. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the Studio Series. I don't know if that'll continue... Once Siege comes out, because that would give them four lines out at once, and they usually only do three. So they would have Cyberverse, Studio Series, Bumblebee Movie, and Siege. I mean, technically right now they have Power of the Primes, but Power of the Primes is already winding down. Uh, it's a shame. They really, that one got so truncated. I feel like Titans Return had a really nice long time, and I loved it. I'm glad it did. But Power of the Primes, they just cut that off so fast. I feel like there was more they could have done. Oh well, Siege looks fun, so I can't really complain that Power of the Primes is going away. I had a great time with Power of the Primes. I think the only thing I still need is Optimal Optimus in the normal show colors. I have the SDCC one, but I would still like to get the normal one because I'm such a huge fan of Beast Wars. Um, but yeah, Siege looks great. Bumblebee has been, the Bumblebee toy line I think has been alright so far. I've gotten about half of the stuff that's available. And... Uh, I could see Studio Series wrapping up fairly soon, but hey, I could be wrong, so we'll see. But yeah, I guess that's it. I'm just kind of rambling at this point, talking about some new stuff. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Definitely look forward to me reviewing this stuff in the coming week. And uh, yeah, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.